I ask for the truth on behalf of Jody Packham concerning finance and uh, relationship issues. I ask this, we ask for guidance and insight on finance and relationship issues in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth, always. And we just cut the deck for you there, uh, Jody, and I'll, I'll just move you to the side here. And then we'll deal out three cards uh, for the past, the present and the future. So the, the first card is the, uh, the the recent past influence. The past, in the, and when we say the recent past, it's, it, it, it's the past as in, in the recent past. As, like between now and this time next month. About the, last, about the past three or four weeks or so. Not too far into the past then. That lasts, uh, as near as to now as we can get without saying it's now. <laughs> if, if you look. I always say about a moon phase ago. It's about 28 days or so. About a month. And, and then you can do a moon phase ahead. Which will be the immediate future. But between uh, the recent past and the immediate future. Is the present. And then, of course, the immediate future we deal there. Let's just see, though, what's been going on um, in the recent past. I suppose you could say establish the situation, establish the, the, the story or, 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 or whatever it is there. Uh, the meaning of each card, or how you interpret the, how, how the meaning, the vibration of each card um, is, is relevant to each piece each possession so the meaning of the middle one there is the past whereas the first one we're just pulling out here is is the meaning of this card will be relevant to or the, how we interpret it it's how it vibrates uh, its energy then um, vibrated uh, is vibrating um, with relation to your recent past simple as that isn't it uh, you couldn't make it up so what we'll do then, we'll just flip the card over nice and slowly and just see what energy was vibrating just recently over the past three or four weeks or so. Now, did you say you got the energy of the black cat? Uh, that's a bit of an Egyptian feel to it, isn't it? Uh, the, the, as, as we know, as I've said before, the Egyptians revered cats, didn't they? And if you, you killed a cat, you'd be sentenced to death. It was that serious, uh, apparently, years ago. And uh, things have changed since then. Um, let's uh, though investigate what that's about. Uh, Consider your finances, and it's just really indicating that your luck soon changed in some regard. With no doubt, both uh, with regards to your finance and your relationship. But did you find did your finances uh, change? Did your luck with your finances change for the worst? And your relationship for the better, or or both for the worst, or both for the better. Uh, we don't know, but I got a sense, sort of feeling that it's changed for the for the better. I know it's nice to look up and nice to be cheerful about it, but I somehow feel it's changed for the better. But let's just see what's going on uh, now, and we'll just well the energy of the seer. Uh, I don't know if you can just see that there, unless we see it. Uh, the energy of the seer right now is vibrating there, um, just indicating really that you must follow your you, you must follow your intuition really. Um, yes, seeking a reading or using cards yourself may maybe you be the best reader for this because all we do is interpret the cards. You you are the reader really because you know the truth, don't you? It's a bit of a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a con really because we we, we aren't really readers. We just interpreters. And you, the real reader is you, as we say. So, but given the fact that you know the truth, and right now I suppose you are having to use your intuition about your your, your relationship and your financial uh, issues, maybe because your luck did change. Okay, we could assume it changed for the worse, but I still think it's changed for the better. I don't know why. And you're having to just use your intuition 
and, and go by how things feel because you're not being told much. Because the black cat, I suppose, could be a, a with, well, like all change, it, it can be a bit cryptical and a bit cryptical. What's the what's, what's cryptical? A bit cryptic and mysterious. I was thinking of mythical then. A bit cryptic and mysterious. It, it, it can be change, can't it? I want to just see what's going on though uh, for the immediate future. Uh, when energy is just vibrating there between now and this time next month. Ooh, the talisman notice there, the talisman. Uh, just indicating really that uh, you, you, you're destined to succeed in this whatever it is. So it does look as though so your luck changed just recently for the betterment of tomorrow. The luck yesterday changed for the betterment of tomorrow if you view it that way. Uh, but just in between you're having to follow your intuition and just go with it. I just get a sense really here it's more a case of uh, crying over spelt milk or just panicking a bit too much um, where, where there's not really much need to panic. Um, maybe you're thinking too hard or something like that and it's doing your head in which it, it does when you think too hard it always does uh, I just don't think at all I'm brain dead so it doesn't bother me but less about me and more about you I want to pull out another car here I don't know why I just sort of feel as though an, an, another car dear wants to come out I don't know uh, as I say I don't know why but let's just see what this is because between now and so old mid, mid November, isn't it? The success comes. What comes after the success? Ah, oh, what's this all about? Maybe this is probably why the relationship department might not be as lucky as the finance department. Because the tellies man can be related to money, can't it? Is it destined to succeed? It can point to a financial gain of some kind as well, can't it? Uh, but with the uh, mask of the Harlequin here, uh, it clearly indicates uh, the Harlequin is a member of the royal court, so it could be a person, it could be you, it could be even the, the new person you've met if you've met somebody, or whatever this is about, or the old person you've got rid of, I don't know what's going on here. But uh, either way, the mask of the Harlequin, Harlequin correction, the mask of the Harlequin is just indicating really that true feelings will be masked between sort of Novemberish, Decemberish, maybe around about Christmas time or up to Christmas, and uh, you'd you'd probably probably correction you'd probably express the feelings you want them to know about than the feelings you don't want them to know about in the sense that you might just I wouldn't say lie but certainly well not even be economical economical of the truth just. You'd just be saying what you want them to, to know, uh, as opposed to how you really are feeling about that person. And also about maybe your financial situation as well. Why am I sort of sensing here as though you're after uh, somebody, obviously you're after somebody who'll look after you financially. Somebody with, 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 with money, maybe that's what you're looking for. And of course, if if, God forbid, that is what you're looking for, then of course uh, you're, you're doing the wrong thing, aren't you really? You should look for somebody for what's inside them and not for what they've got. Um, and, not, and, and, and really, maybe if your true feelings are being masked, are those true, true feelings really dark feelings of, well really, I love you because of the amount of... Uh, money you've got in your bank account but I'll just tell you that I love you for who you are and what you're like inside because that's what you expect me to say I don't know what that's about I'm sort of surmising there and I hope I'm wrong uh, but either way there is financial gain for you between now and next month but you will no doubt be uh, masking your feelings at, at around about December-ish Christmas time ish if you could say if it's a such a thing um, maybe because of how you acquired that money and 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 or how you acquired that that material gain then um, and you, you're sort of having to not say how you really feel otherwise you'll give the game away won't you why I'm sort of sensing that I just don't know but either way you look 
has soon changed just recently. You're following your intuition and you're following by if it feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Let's hope that what I'm feeling is just completely non-existent. But I've got a funny feeling, it says. But for now, just for now, these cards for you have spoken. <laughs>